Right, question 16 is about uh, factors and factorising. Question 16 A says, use the factor theorem to show that x minus 1 and x minus 4 are factors of x cubed minus 21x plus 20. If x minus 1 is a factor, then x must equal 1. So let's put that in and see. One cubed minus twenty one times one plus twenty. That's uh, one minus twenty one plus twenty. And that equals zero, which is correct if it's a factor. We've got to get a value of zero. With that means there's no remainder, and you should finish off by saying hence. x minus 1 is a factor and at certainly at a level you must say that to gain the last mark. Let's try this one. If x minus 4 is a factor x must equal 4 and then we should get 0 again. 4 cubed, let's put this in the here, minus 21 times 4 plus 20 64 for 4 cubed minus 21 double it and double it again 42 84 plus 20 so we've got 64 plus 20 is 84 minus 84 equals 0 so hence x minus 4 is a factor. And that's that part done. Part B, show that x minus 1 and x minus 4 are also factors of x cubed minus 10x squared plus 29x minus 20. This is exactly the same. All you do is substitute x equals 1, x equals 1, find the answer it should equal 0 and then x equals 4. So we'll do x equals 1 first. So we've got 1 cubed, 1 cubed minus 10 times 1 squared plus 29 times 1 minus 20. So we've got 1 minus 10 plus 29 minus 20. So we've got 29 and 1 makes 30. Minus 10 minus 20 makes minus 30. So it equals 0. Finish off with hence x minus 1 is a factor. Do the same with x equals 4. x equals 4. 4 cubed minus 10 times 4 squared plus 29 times 4 minus 20. So we've got 64 again for 4 cubed minus 4 squared is 16 times 10, 160, so minus 160, um, 29 times 4, just make it 30, so 4 30s, um, 120, so it's 116, plus 116, minus the 20, I've got um, 116, 120, 180, and then minus 160 and minus 120 is minus 180, so it equals 0, so that's correct. Hence, um, x minus 4 is a factor. Now this one looks quite tricky but it's not as bad as it seems. Hence, simplify all of this. Now the top part is part A, the bottom part is part B. And we already know that x minus 1 and x minus 4 are factors of both. So we can put that on. So the top part, we're going to get x minus 1, x minus 4. And the denominator, the bottom part, we're going to get x minus 1 and x minus 4 also because they're both factors. Now the last part, we know that it's going to be to get x cubed. Both of them are x cubed. You're going to have x, x, and it's going to be ax plus b because the constant at the end 
um, is 20 for the first one and minus 20 so we're going to have minus 1 minus 4 times something to get plus 20 then minus 1 times minus 4 times ax to get the x cubed plus b something on there okay strictly speaking I should pick different letters because they're not going to be the same numbers so I'll do that I'll put uh, cx plus d because they're not the same letters so let's have a look at this again x minus 1 x minus 4 x minus 1 on the bottom x minus 4 and then let's have a look at what we need so on the top we've got x times x times something to get x cubed it's just x so it's x times x times x and the bottom part x cubed it's going to be the same x times x times x will give x cubed now what we'll do is we'll just need to look at the constants at the end to give plus 20 on the top we've got minus 1 times minus 4 which is 4 and 4 times 5 is 20 so that's plus 5 and if you multiply all that out you'll see that you get back to x cubed minus 21x plus 20 now the bottom part we need minus 20 so we've got minus 1 times minus 4 which is plus 5 again, uh, plus 4 again and then to multiply to make minus 20 we need minus 5 so uh, that's everything now we'll just cancel out all the parts that we can because it says simplify fully so we'll cancel x minus 1, x minus 1 and x minus 4 and x minus 4 we can do the cancelling because it's all one term they're all multiplied, there's no adds or subtracts so we're just left with x plus 5 on the numerator and x minus 5 on the denominator and that's it